renderings and our imagination to get a feel for what the interior of the new Keel Center will look like. Well, tonight, J.C. Corcoran takes us on a guided tour of the St. Louis area's newest sports and entertainment complex. The first thing you notice upon entering the Keel Center grounds is that this is still very much a construction site, albeit a very friendly one. In the shadow of some of St. Louis's most recognizable landmarks, this $135 million project is 70% completed with six months to go. And overseeing everything from the size of the girders to the kind of cheese they'll put on the nachos at the concession stand is Keel Center Partners President Judd Perkins. And this is his baby. It'll be the home to the Blues, Billikens, Ambush, and over 150 other sports and entertainment events a year. By fall, this should look something like this, complete with the eight-sided overhead scoreboard. You've probably heard a lot of talk about the club seats here at the New Keel. That's where we are right now. You get yourself a wider seat, waiter and waitress service, priority when buying tickets for other events, and an absolutely tremendous view. These gigantic escalators will not only carry you to your seats, but also to the slick new sports bar and restaurant you'll find by following the running track. And you'll realize you just don't know enough of the right people if this is where your seats are. It looks like Bruce Willis could do a Die Hard movie up here. It may look like no man's land, but this is where roadies for the concert acts playing the new keel will hang their lights and backdrop. You want to see something scary? That's where the phrase, don't look down, comes from. Meanwhile, Perkins, who's already overseen the $215 million renovation of Madison Square Garden, says he's happy with the Keel project. I don't think I'd change anything. I think uh, we really have got a great building. It's, uh, it's complete. Uh, it has just about everything that I'd want to put in it, and I hope uh, all the fans uh, feel the same. If all goes according to plans, the Blues will open the new Keel this fall. J.C. Corcoran, News 4. J.C. says perhaps the best news of all, the new Keel Center will feature more than twice as many restrooms as the arena. I don't 